But you look, look Paige has got nasty. crazy shit like that right there. His ability to close the distance. And look how quickly he gets out of dodge. He's just so used to that style of people leaping at him and getting out of the way. Oh. Look at that one, too. Nasty. Whose show is it? Big oh. oh. The mobility. Oh. A kick. Oh. Oh. Big knee from Michael Venom Page. Michael Venom Page is undoubtedly one of the most spectacular fighters of our time. In his best years, MVP was setting the highest bar of quality in combination with an unusual style that always drew attention from the wide public. And in this video, we would like to refresh our memory with all knockouts of Michael Page. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words, and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Number 1. Ben Dishman, UC MMA 26, The Real Deal the professional MMA career of charismatic and vivid fighter Michael Venom Page began on February the 4th of 2012. At UC MMA 26, he went up against the first opponent in the upper league in the face of his countryman, Ben Dishman. The fight began with Dishman's rough lunge. He tried to suddenly attack Venom and discourage him from such an unexpected explosion. But what's interesting is that MVP did not bait on the provocation. Or more so, he properly defended everything Ben had to offer and soon began to surprise him with his own behavior in the cage. As you can see, unorthodox movement and sudden actions went hand in hand with Michael from the beginning of his career. 50 seconds later, Dishman tried to use an ace up his sleeve and jumped for a takedown. That idea cost him a win on that night. Not only did Michael Page react timely, on top of that, he put an exclamation mark with a tornado kick. Corner, the London shoot by screaming out of town. Oh! Seriously, and there's a spinning kick. Oh! That is unbelievable. Wow. He turns, he kicks. He... Page turned Ben into a real tree as Dishman dropped down like a stiff wood getting hit with an axe. And of course, Michael Page kept standing in his common manner after landing the strike and waited for the fight to get called. The way Page reacts to the finish is truly the eighth wonder of the world. Number 2. Haitam El Sayed, Super Fight League 7. After the win over Ben Dishman, Michael Page returned to the octagon in April and beat Miguel Bernard via armbar. And already in November, Having two professional wins on his resume, he faced the Egyptian representative Haitam El Sayed. Their fight took place at the seventh tournament of SFL. As soon as the fighters went towards each other, MVP momentarily entered the side stance and began to bait his opponent. The Egyptian tried his best to hit the Brit with both low kicks and hands, but got caught with a counter instead. Page continued to taunt Al Sayed and show his superiority to the confused opponent. After one minute in, untouchable Venom dropped the Egyptian with a lightning fast attack. Oh! Beautiful right hand by... The latter managed to recover and get back to his feet, but Michael could care less. He felt the blood and figured that Haitam is not equal to him in terms of movement speed. Closer to the end of another minute, the scene repeated itself. MVP continued to taunt his opponent for a couple moments more and then the referee had to intervene. Being elusive. Oh! One, two combo. Michael walks away. Trying to egg the crowd out to his side. At first, he paused the fight so that the doctors could examine the cut under the left eye of the Egyptian fighter. And then he ultimately stopped the bout, which identified Michael Page as the winner via TKO. Number 3. Ryan Sanders, Bellator 93 After a successful breakthrough in the upper league and three consecutive stoppages in the first rounds, Mike Page aimed at signing with Bellator. He debuted at the 93rd event. On March the 21st of 2013, he shared the cage with the American Ryan Sanders, whose record consisted of four wins and three losses. 
Makings of vivid charisma and outrageousness appeared in the next 10 seconds of that fight. And that's exactly how long it lasted. Right with the bell, Sanders rushed at the debutante but got caught with a fast counter. The first attempt wasn't successful, so the American tried to attack Venom one more time. Page reacted momentarily and knocked his opponent out. He didn't even need to follow up. Maybe at that moment, Michael thought that he should change his nickname from Venom to Flash? MVP's debut couldn't be any better. Number 4. Ricky Rainey, Bellator 120 In the middle of May 2014, MVP had his sixth professional fight. By that moment, his record consisted of five first-round wins. The first in line was the American fighter, Ricky Rainey, nicknamed The Sniper, with a record of eight wins and two losses. Based on the footage, Rainey did everything he could to cut the distance from the very beginning to be able to at least land shots on the circling opponent, while MVP was doing his thing, actively moved, taunted the American and worked from a distance. Page literally humiliated Ricky almost for the whole first round. With just a half a minute left, he dropped him with a heavy right and froze. Big oh. right hand! That's it! It's that Kevin it. McDonald steps in! And this... Look at it, set him up with the jab, and he came in over the left hand of Ricky Rainey, just enough overhand to that. The referee acknowledged that it doesn't make sense to let this bout continue and stopped it. Another vivid win for Venom. Number 5. Rudy Bears, Bellator 140 In the middle of the summer of 2015, the main Venom of the entire Great Britain came out to have his 8th professional fight. At Bellator 140, he clashed with the American fighter, Rudy Bears. By the way, at that moment his career was gradually declining. 13 losses on his record were quickly catching up to his 16 wins. As soon as the fight started, MVP immediately took over most of the octagon space. Or more so, he began to stalk the American and press him to the fence. Soon, the very first attack led to Bears getting knocked down. The American instantly felt Michael's venom. Sure, he managed to get up and even reacted to a spinning kick from Page, but eventually he couldn't oppose his rival with anything. Venom came back to stance and threw a knee on the retreat. After the one minute mark, the Brit attacked his opponent once again and ended this fight with a flashy knockout. He didn't even make it seem like he was going to follow up. You know, like in popular movies, cool guys don't look at explosions while Michael Page doesn't finish his opponents. A true showman. Number 6. Charlie Ontiveros, Bellator 144 In October of 2015, Michael Page shared the octagon with a future UFC fighter, Charlie Ontiveros. That fight was held on the main card at Bellator 144. The ninth fight of the Brit presented Venom to the crowd in a slightly different light. Sure, most of the time he acted in his usual manner, caught and disorientated his opponent with unorthodox movement and danced. But closer to the middle of the first round, he suddenly switched to tactic. Seeing that Ontiveros doesn't know how to approach him and cut the distance without getting hurt and being put in danger, MVP decided to converge himself. He tied Charlie in the clinch at the fence and after some time, took him down to the ground. He was holding and controlling him down there, but at a certain moment, he decided to utilize deadly elbows from the top. He's a big shot, These are big shots. That's it. It's over. Bang. He broke his jaw with that short elbow. MVP. Ruthless finish from Michael led to Charlie's complete shutdown and another stoppage win in the Brit's professional career. Number 7. Evangelista Santos, Bellator 158. On July the 16th of 2016, Michael Page entered the octagon to clash with the vicious Brazilian veteran Evangelista Santos. Having 10 wins in a row, he was looking to establish himself in the rankings and in the minds of the loyal fans. Venom demonstrated his superiority and riskiness to his opponent for the whole first round. 
the usually confident Brazilian fighter looked very uncomfortable in this fight and acted very restrained. He was clearly afraid of unexpected movement and unusual gimmicks which Michael Page was famous for in his best years. Already in the first minute of the round, MVP checked Santos' defense and followed him to the ground. Let's figure him out, it's too late. Good right hand! Sure, he immediately got up, but also figured that the opponent can't react to his lunges. The only thing that saved him from a defeat in the first round was the ground game. When he grabbed the opportunity as tightly as he could, Evangelista held his aggressive vis-a-vis -vis on the lower level and secured himself a ticket to the second round. As Conor McGregor will say, half a year later prior to his fight with Eddie Alvarez, he will jump at my legs for his dear life. And that's exactly what the Brazilian was doing. Starting from the second round, it seemed like the Brazilian got more confident and decided to work on his feet. But his faith and motivation was only enough for occasional jabs and slow and absolutely telegraphed overhands. Back kicks. Not even close. As it was the case close to the middle of the round. Overall, the initiative did not switch hands. Venom was still terrorizing Santos and constantly pressed him to the fence, where already poor options were getting many times worse. The veteran couldn't figure out what to do as this guy can't stop dancing and jumping in front of him. You can expect anything. With one and a half minutes before the bell, Michael Page landed a significant strike to Evangelista Santos' body. Five seconds doesn't sound like a long time. In a hundred yard dash, it's forever. Beautiful liver shot, that hurt him. Santos is hurt. He is really hurt. Which was the beginning of the end. A completely terrified Brazilian could only cover up and horrifically look forward to the third round. But in some sense, Venom saved him from that fate. Another minute later, when the desperate Brazilian decided to go for another attack, MVP met him with a fatal knee. You need in a fight, you lose off the liver shot. It can come back. Beautiful. Runs into the jump knee. By Cyborg Santos. Bang! As you listen carefully, you can even hear the sound of this poor guy's skull cracking up. In the end, Michael Page earned another convincing win while Santos hung the gloves up. The injury was so severe that the fighter urgently needed surgery. Fortunately, the organization's staff timely transported him to the hospital and provided him with aid. Interesting fact. At that time, the Pokemon Go application was very popular and after the win, Michael Page put on a cap from a well-known anime and rolled a Pokemon ball towards Santos, which the main heroes were doing after the win over a certain Pokemon. Page was highly critiqued for that, as Santos' head was literally split in half. But that's what Michael does. Pure show. Number 8. David Rickles, Bellator 200. At the end of May 2018, Michael Page had his 13th professional fight with 12 wins on his record. At the anniversary of Bellator 200 in the co-main event of the evening, he shared the cage with David Rickles, whose record at that time was 19 wins and 4 defeats. The bell rang and the guys met each other in the center of the ring. The increase in the level of opposition could be seen with the naked eye. Compared to other opponents of Venom, Rickles acted smarter and did not bait on MVP's feints. Or more so, he adjusted to his distance and tried to stay in range himself if he needed to respond in case of an attack or a retreat. And on top of that, he did not forget to pressure the Brit so he won't have too much space to maneuver or withdraw. Surprisingly, Page did his best to move and avoid dangerous situations and often caught David with a sudden strike himself. After four minutes, Michael figured that his opponent couldn't keep up with his speed and went for an attack. Lightning fast straight right sat the American on his butt. Well, caused a leaky Now he was pressuring him for the whole last minute, and at the last seconds, another attack stunned Rickles once again, although it didn't knock him down. The next five minutes continued in the same manner. Michael Page was humiliating and dominating his opponent. Half a minute later, another straight right found its target 
and opened the cut above David's left eye. Understanding when to explode the top. Oh, wildly right hand that clocks David Rickles. The fighter decided that enough is enough and indicated that he was not willing to continue. Thus, Venom scored his 13th win via TKO. Number 9. Richard Kiley, Bellator 227 After the loss to Douglas Lima, the first one in the professional career, the Brit urgently needed to be shaken up. He himself wanted to return to the octagon as soon as possible to get an opportunity to get back in the win column. And on September the 27th of 2019, he managed to do so. In the co-main event of the evening, he shared the cage with the Irishman Richard Kiley. As soon as the guys collided in the center of the octagon, MVP began to realize his game plan. As always, in a complete fuss, it's needed to deliver a vivid performance and finish the opponent in the most convincing fashion. Overall, he succeeded in realizing the first part of the plan during the first minute, which was to create chaos. And he did it so well that the Irishman couldn't handle himself and showed him a middle finger. Look at this, he's just taunting him. Bro wanted to play Nate Diaz but failed. He received a well-deserved warning from the referee. As soon as the fight resumed, Venom dropped the opponent to the ground and began to control him. Not forgetting about the strikes and, of course, the taunts. Michael Venom Page. In the end, he went as far as to mimic taking a selfie, which Dan Miragliota immediately reacted to and took away one point. To be honest, MVP did not take this warning seriously enough. First of all, because it's his style, man. And secondly, partially because he shut Richard Kiley down with a flying knee a few moments later. And he doesn't care about the stripped points. It's Michael Page, and he just came back to the winning path with a teeth-shattering first-round knockout. Number 10. Giovanni Melillo, Bellator, London Two months later, Venom entered the octagon to face the Italian fighter. He and Giovanni Melillo headlined the event on the home soil in front of the loyal fans. As soon as the fight started, charged up with fan support, MVP rushed at the Italian. Apart from his usual maneuvers, it could be seen that the Brit is striving for a vivid win. That's why he attacks more frequently than usual. Such a rhythm immediately caught Giovanni off guard, due to which he didn't know what to oppose him with. Soon, the flying strikes got complemented with a front kick and straight right, while the fighter from Italy was constantly retreating. Only a minute and 40 seconds later did he venture for an attack. However, Venom read his movement and reacted with a straight counter. One hundred and seven seconds and a deep knockout in the first round in front of the home crowd. What could be better? Number 11. Shinzo Anzai Another month later, Venom entered the octagon to end the year of 2019 on a high note. At Bellator 237, which was headlined by Fedor Emelianenko and Quinton Jackson, Michael Page fought with the Japanese Shinzo Anzai. Already in the first minute, Michael Page flew into the Japanese fighter, hoping to score an early finish. Anzai had time to react and grabbed his opponent leg in an attempt to take him down. The ability of MVP is not easy at all. Oh, beautiful knee by Venom Page. As soon as he saw that head going down, he came up with it. MVP stuffed the takedown and soon broke out of the clinch. In the middle of the first round, the situation repeated itself. Venom jumped with a knee on the retreat and got tied in the clinch at the fence. 
<laughs> and it's so oh again with the flying knee. And During his whole time, between the sequences of convergence, Page will occasionally land his strikes on the target and act in his common wild manner. With 80 seconds left in the first round, he knocked the Japanese down. Towards the cage, all smart, there he goes down. Big shot, got a cut, yep. Right back up, set. Anzai managed to make it to the second round, even though it was quite challenging. The expected finish came after 23 seconds. A brilliant right from Venom put an exclamation mark in this fight. Champion, and he's starting to look like a kid in the school, it's over. And it's all over, just like that, Michael Venom. And complimented the Brits' legacy with another flashy knockout. Number 12, Derek Anderson. And the last fight of Michael Venom Page that we are going to talk about happened in the beginning of May 2021. Right before the rematch with Douglas Lima, MVP collided with Derek Anderson, who at that time was on a three-fight winning streak. Watching this fight, it seemed like Michael Page was fighting an amateur who figured out who he was going to meet only yesterday. The fight lasted for the whole five minutes of the first round. However, it's interesting that during this time, Venom got hit only with a couple of low kicks, while Derek received a huge amount of damage. Apart from MVP being obviously superior to Anderson in every aspect, closer to the end of the first round, all of that turned into a complete outclass. As soon as Derek's face met with a sharp and whipping sidekick from Page, it became evident that the end was near. The mobility! MVP and what a The guy ultimately managed to make it to the final bell, but the battered face and broken nose forced the doctors to make a call. Another stoppage win in a dominant fashion. There it is, guys. Already on March the 10th, the legendary 35-year-old Venom will enter the octagon once again to clash with Goiti Yamaguchi. Something tells us that even despite his age, Michael Page will have an intention to put another vivid show and treat the fans with his spectacular performance. We wish this talent luck in his upcoming fight and can't wait for it to happen. And that's it for today, friends. See you soon.